People, people, people. Be mindful. If you get one of these in the mail, and it sounds too good to be true, maybe it is. So this company, or any eye buyer out there, which is a company that buys uh, property uh, a little uh, less than traditional ways of selling property normally, right? So they're, they're basically sending me a letter saying, hey, uh, we want to buy your house. We'll buy it from you. Um, they are a brokerage in certain states. I think they actually have a brokerage license in California and some other states. But there's many companies like this, right? So this company saying, hey, your house is worth between 436 and 533,000, huge range, totally understand. They have no idea what the value is because they're just mass mailing these things. They've done some research saying this must be a good community to buy property in. Now, it's not like a flipper or an investor where they're going to buy distressed property and try to flip the house. This is a this is a an eye buyer, right? So what they're doing is they're building a portfolio of homes. Some of these companies rent the properties. Some of these companies do turn around and sell it. Now, obviously, if you go and read the fine print, they uh, talk, they will charge you a service fee. You gotta go in, you take a video of your home, you send it to them, and they calculate repairs that might be needed. They calculate the condition, and then they charge you a fee. Uh, the fee is on average anywhere between five and eight percent, but can go up to fourteen percent. Now, if you are in a situation where you're out of state and you or you're you know dealing with an estate type sale or you inherited a property and you just don't want to deal with it. There are plenty of ways not to lose money and not to leave money on the table. Real estate is a great asset, one of the biggest investments that people have, and certainly something that can gain a, a tremendous amount of value over time. And so you don't want to be quick, whim, bam, with selling your property. You want to make sure you're talking to a real estate professional, whoever that may be in your world, and you want to ensure that they're getting you the right advice in regards to the value, in regards to the timing, and the understanding of the marketplace. Um, be be smart, right? So obviously, if they're sending mass amounts of these letters out and spending money on this, and have built quite a uh, a platform in regards to where to look, and not just this, I'm not picking on this company. I'm picking on any eye buying company out there. Be very mindful of. Uh, this approach. Speak to your real estate professional. Possibly could be a great deal. Most likely uh, going a traditional route with a very good real estate broker or agent, someone who's a realtor, someone who's going to be able to guide you on valuation, guide you through the process, hold your hand, and really make sure that you're not leaving money on the table is probably your best bet. And certainly uh, the rates they charge are far beyond what most, or certainly their, their low end is typically uh, what you see on average, not that there is such thing as an average in the marketplace of, of rates, but um, you're typically seeing that lower end uh, from what their, their, uh, that, their low end is really what you're seeing is what I'm saying. So anyway, be mindful of these things. Be very careful when you're getting these, you know, these too good to be true letters and make sure that you're speaking to whomever that real estate professional is in your world to ensure that you are understanding the value of your asset, how to best handle that asset and how to maximize value when you're going to sell that property. My word and advice of the day. Have a great day, guys.